There is a big BJP huddle that's taking place in the national capital with regards to the turmoil that has gripped the state of Bihar. It is Chirag Pasfan now who is going to meet along with J.P. Nadda, Home Minister Amit Shah. J.P. Nadda and Chirag Pasfan at the moment at Home Minister Amit Shah's house. This is the BJP huddle taking place in the national capital with regards to the turmoil that has gripped the state of Bihar. What's taking place at the moment is the fact that Nitish Kumar is not speaking with RJD Supremo Lalu Prasad Yadav. Sources have told India today Lalu Prasad Yadav in fact over the past two days has been trying to get in touch with Nitish Kumar. But Nitish Kumar is keeping mum, going for various events but not speaking with Tejasvi Yadav. Neither is he speaking with Lalu Prasad Yadav. And at the moment it seems like the Bharatiya Janata Party is eyeing the seat of Deputy Chief Ministers. They may, be, they may have two deputy chief ministers in the state of Bihar in days to come. And if we speak about politics, it's all about numbers. And at the moment, it seems like Nitish Kumar has done his math. Now, the total number of assembly seats in the state of Bihar is 243. The majority figure or the magic mark is 122. The last state elections were held in 2020. It was the NDA who at that time had the majority with 125 seats. But if we speak party-wise, it was the RJD that was the single largest party with 75 seats. Rohit is still with me on the story. Rohit, we are seeing the political turmoil that is taking place in Bihar. But the effect, effect can also be seen in the national capital also at the moment. We are now seeing Chirag Paswan. An important player in Bihar politics now meeting Home Minister Amit Shah and also Bharati Janata Party President J.P. Nanda. Well, yes, Ashwarya, ever since this entire drama started unfolding two, three days back uh, of uh, possible Nitish Kumar coming back to the NDA, there has been hectic uh, negotiations, uh, talks going on, not only in Patna, but also in uh, the national capital. And we saw how uh, hectic meetings were held uh, with uh, the Bihar unit of the BJP with uh, Amit Shah. And now today we are seeing that Chirag Paswan also uh, meeting uh, uh, Amit Shah. A lot of central BJP leaders also speaking to the alliance partners here in Bihar. Nityanand Rai was speaking to Jitana Maji, trying to persuade him, pacify him that, OK, Nitish Kumar is coming into the NDA, you don't have to worry. Then the BJP top leaders also spoke to Upendra Kushwaha. Just a couple of days back, Amit Shah also called uh, uh, Chirag Paswan on his phone and summoned him to Delhi. And that is what is happening now, that Chirag Paswan is meeting Amit Shah. So, uh, Chirag Paswan is also a very important player in the NDA alliance and he commands at least 6% vote bank of the Dalits in the state and he's a very important player. And that is why, uh, and what uh, is the fact that uh, uh, Chirag Paswan has been very vocal also against Nitish Kumar in the last four years and uh, speaking a lot of things against him and opposing him. So now Chirag Paswan can also feel uncomfortable with the return of uh, Nitish in the uh, NDA fold. So <coughs> uh, all efforts are being made by the top BJP brass to talk to all the alliance partners, all regional players in Bihar, Chirag Paswan, Upendra Kushwaha, Jitana, Maji, everyone trying to take them, everyone on board to ensure that uh, there is no turmoil further, there is no uh, voices of dissent if Nitish Kumar is now coming back to the NDA. So that's the entire game uh, that is being played out, not only in Patna, but uh, in Delhi also, Ashwarya. Right, Rohit, please stay on with me. My colleague Milan is also joining me on the story. Milan, we are seeing how Chirag Paswan, who's always said that he's a very important player in Bihar politics, He's now meeting J.P. Nadda and also having a conversation with Home Minister Amit Shah. Well, you know, Ashwarya, uh, Chirag Paswan remains to be a very important future player in the politics of Bihar and that is something that the BJP has never ignored, which is why he's been part of the NDA alliance. And now with Nitish Kumar's, uh, uh, you know, cartwheel entry once again into uh, the politics uh, with NDA, it remains to be seen what is the kind of role that Chirag Paswan is going to be 
given or not given and that is uh, you know the question which is why he was waiting for an appointment from uh, the home minister amit shah which has been given today uh, you know this afternoon and as we speak uh, right outside amit shah's residence there's a meeting going on inside with jp nadda uh, as well who's reached here and of course uh, uh, with today's meeting and of course in connection with the last two days or whatever has been happening uh, the cartwheels of bihar politics uh, there have been hectic parleys and meetings scheduled in delhi as well and as we hear that nitish kumar will further move in to stake claim give a resignation to form a new government in bihar it remains to be seen what chirag paswan uh, paswan's role will be and that is the kind of answers that he is also looking before he left uh, for amit shah's residence all chirag paswan told the journalists present were that everyone wants to know bihar mein kaaba even i want to know bihar mein kaaba and that's why uh, now i've got an appointment to meet amit shah and i will be meeting him and then i will uh, you know be making a further course uh, of action and deciding what is to be done next because everyone is now just waiting and watching to find out what will be the next steps and of course being a very key ally of the nda in bihar chirag paswan's role his party's role the vote that he represents right. is also extremely crucial uh, for the bjp but how he will be set with nitish is uh, the question that remains to be answered Thank you, Milan. My colleague, who's standing right outside Home Minister Amit Shah's house, that's the house where a crucial meeting between J.P. Nadda, Amit Shah, and Chirag Paswan is taking place at the moment.